up guys, welcome back to the videos. If you guys are new, my name is Mike. Today is actually a first for me. We're heading out to the Gimli racetrack, which is like the only racetrack we have here in Manitoba. We're heading out there because apparently there are races out there like time attacks, autocross and stuff like that. And I've been thinking about joining them, but obviously not in my Evo because I'm probably gonna ruin my Evo there. And that's not the whole point of that car. So I'm maybe thinking about getting another build Anyways, my dad's friends would race out there, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see if it's something that I'd be into. I guess just enjoy the whole racing aspect of the car scene and that's totally, totally different than building a show car just like my Evo. So it's really cold, so I'm probably gonna be wearing a winter jacket the whole time there, but fuck okay. it. Let's go, boys. No, I think that's an old Toyota. You know the open wheel. Whoa, look at those. Yeah. So yeah, by the way, we're at the racetrack and uh, found a friend, Phil. I hope you guys remember him. He's the guy who was, I called him talk to me when I first met him. So according to Phil, he was getting like a fuel cut. So he says it might be something on his like Cobb access port tuner or something like that. He just got the turbo kit in. So he's gonna work that out. Do you think the race is over? It's coming back. <laughs> it's coming back, boys. Nice hood vents on. I think he needs an anti-perfect banner. Type bar and an Evo. That's a Varus kit. Damn, PE37's actually look so good on the Evo 10. Can't believe this guy races this car, it looks so good. Whatever this open wheel car is, it's been keeping up with the 911 and it's freaking fast. It looks awesome. So far, like all the cars here are like old Hondas. That I don't even see on the road anymore, not even a car meets. I think this is like the fifth or fourth gen Civic, and there's like this, the fifth. There's no, there's no like EKs here even. There's a couple of muscle cars, like there's a Camaro way down there, but that's about it. It's a Supra, Mark IV Supra over there. Carbureted Civic, which is awesome. It doesn't even have like an air filter on it, it's just straight, straight through the headlight. And it's side exit too. Basically, like the big boys, Phil's in it. The STIs, there's an Evo, there's a Type R, two STIs actually, and a Porsche 911. I feel like it's, I heard that it's gutted, but I've, I haven't really seen it. But this is like the faster category, and these guys shouldn't really sound like beehives. Like this STI over here is crazy. Lately, guys, I have a soft spot for. Fair ladies, and this one is no exception. Damn, I like it. I like it. If you have a fair lady, comment down below. 
These cars are sweet. Damn, I want one. I kind of wish I went on a much warmer day. It's brutally cold right now. And it doesn't help that we are in the prairies and it's literally all flat. So whatever wind you get, you get. All right, so apparently there was an accident. That was one of my dad's friends. I feel for you, buddy. I feel. You guys can see right there, a little red Civic is inching its way all the way. Apparently his wheel flew off. So Buddy's inching it all the way back to the pits and uh, get his wheel back on. Oh no, bad day dude, it's a bad day. So apparently this is a good spot to watch because they actually cut it around here. And uh, you see like the whole track going all the way around there and stuff. So apparently this is the place to be if you're taking a video. So we shall see if it's true. But this is a good view for the boys. And I hate heights. I'm already sketched out and it's only this high. My main man. Type R. Man of the hour, boys. Man, this Lotus over here is so fast. Oh, sweet. Oh, the Subaru is smoking. Whoa. Oh, the Subaru. Okay, so I think Phil is out because I saw white smoke come out of his car. Now there's some white smoke coming out of this Subaru. What? The Civic passed? <laughs> I think they're just laughing the Civic. No, it doesn't look, doesn't look bad. It looks. But this is your oil catch can? Yeah. Ooh, there's creamy liquid in there. It might have blown a head gasket, Phil. Just got the turbo kit too. Poor Phil. Poor Phil. Alright, so I just checked up with Phil. It looked like there was a lot of smoke coming from apparently it's just his tires he said or his brakes. He did go into the pit so I checked up on him and it looks like there's like a creamy residue coming out of his catch can which makes me think it's a head gasket because it could be a coolant and oil mixing that would make that creamy residue. So I just double checked with my dad's friend with the red Civic that the wheel came off. It actually, his car actually snapped the axle which uh, caused the wheel to come off and it was just brutal. It's amazing how hard they push these cars and so many things break. I could just imagine what things actually go, go wrong behind the scenes of like a pro drift car with like five to 600 horsepower, it's crazy. guys so after watching all those guys race on the track it really got me thinking and wanting to actually build a car that I would be I don't want to say capable because I feel like where the Evo is right now it just needs a couple mods like out of the box the Evo is a capable car at the track where I don't want to end up damaging and hurting the Evo where it is since that is more or less like my my, my show car for say so I have put a lot of money into that car. It would just be a waste for me to just trash it all in one weekend. With that being said, a couple cars come to mind. There were a lot of Hondas, like Civics, and Civic parts, Civic anything actually is super, super cheap. They are like a fraction of the price of the Evo parts, which is what I'm used to. Um, so that is definitely an option. But another car I want to get is, is a 350Z or a Fair Lady. But obviously, this is going to be like my all year daily, so rear wheel drive, winter time, plus it being super, super low. I just don't know which one to pick. There's so many cars, there's so many choices out there. It's, you can't just, ugh. 
There's so many choices, so I want you guys to help me out. Comment down below um, what you think. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to comment Civic or 350Z. You can comment whatever car that you feel would be a good choice, a good option. Um, I just want something that could that I could improve my driving skill at the track. I'm not looking to break any lap times or win any championships. I just want to race and keep it safe. I need your guys' help. I want you guys to comment down below which car you think I should go with. Because um, it would really help me make my mind. Any of you guys go to the track, comment down below with some tips or advice for me. That'd be super, super cool. But I'm gonna have to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out and make it happen. Thank you.